Oh, so going guys, Chris back here again with some more Skyrim Special Edition. We are in the Ancestral Moss Glade. Glade. We're collecting moss. We're trying to read our Elder Scrolls. Uh, and after I read our Elder Scroll, uh, we sh Well, I think we have to read all three of them, right? That's why we had to collect all of them. Uh, we'll be able to figure out, I guess, where the thing we need is. Like, the Dawn Guard quest line has always been a bit vague, right? Like, we're learning the prophecy from these scrolls to prevent uh, whatever scheme Harkin's got going on, right? At the same time, it's like, do we, do we need to know? Like, if we have the scrolls, Harkin can't do anything, right? Because he needs the Elder Scrolls to do the thing, too. So there's more than seven around, and you can collect them. Uh, first person cool view is kind of cool. While you have all the moth around. Like, they disappear after the quest. Uh, so we'll go into our inventory. And we gotta read some Elder Scrolls. Start with blood. I guess it's gonna take over from here. And somewhere in this haze you're supposed to see a map of Skyrim. Supposed to see Dark Fell Cave. Yeah, here's our map of Skyrim, right? Uh, and there's the city of Markarth down there in the corner. It's really good that these fragments of creation no one can locate Markarth, right? Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Nah, we all good. We 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 quite good. I could see. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can? Dark it's almost Cave. Over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Yeah, probably for the best, honestly. Uh, although I hope you are ready to fight Serana because uh, the bad guys are here. Vampires are on it. Vampires are here. I went up the wrong way, I guess. Yes, that staircase over there. Yeah, Serana can handle them, right? She's very powerful. Uh... Oh, it looks like I go here. Not cool, but he is real cool. Though. Really no mercy, Inigo. Remember the rules. I'm learning keyboard controls for three different games at the moment right now. And it's helping me uh, actually get somewhat decent at operating uh, a game on keyboard and mouse. Which, I mean, I've done Skyrim before, so I kind of, kind of knew uh, some of the controls from the get-go. But I'm hoping to get good enough to where I can actually uh, play, like, Halo Infinite multiplayer a little bit better. Uh, gonna go to map. 
And we're looking for Darkfall Cave. We found to discover that earlier. We never went inside because I knew what it was about. I've also turned up my mic a little bit. Uh, somebody mentioned on one of my MTG videos that it was a little quiet. So, turned it up just a little bit. Like, this is kind of the max settings I got at the moment. So, hopefully it's not too loud. I don't think it would be. It peeks out occasionally, but that's if I'm too close. And I'm generally fairly far away, so... We should be fine. So this is a uh, Dark Fall Cave. Good work, can we go? Yes, I've been working with Elden Ring a lot recently, and uh, that's a game that I've, I'm really starting to warm up to the keyboard and mouse controls. Because a lot of um, so when we go across this bridge again, it's gonna collapse. Uh, if I hit the storm, oh, I just called a storm in a cave. And that wasn't what I was trying to do. I was trying to see if I could uh, escape Bethesda's fate for me. So you're supposed to walk over across this bridge and fall apart on you because look at this bridge, it is missing a line. Uh, we might be able to war one sprint to the other side, and then I'm <laughs> wondering how. Uh, if I just destroy the quest by doing that. Hey, would you look at that. I guess not. I just sent my stooges ahead first. Oh my god, look at this. This is one of the coolest, like, uh. It is a really cool section. So there are trolls in this game. Who's there? Fire tends to work very well against trolls. Uh, I guess there are some more spiders to work with too. just find your way back up to the start. Uh, which I think I might be not doing. Hopefully I'm not doing. I'm following the mark, right? The mark should lead me to where I want to go. God, that's death. This guy, he's not a troll, but he's basically kind of trollish, isn't he? He's just a lone farmer living Come by forward. himself. You have nothing to fear. I don't know. I fear I might have something to fear from you, but I guess I'm the guy in charge. So I, I am not talk to you. Yellowball. Welcome to the great chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Yeah, fair enough. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. Sure, what do you need? I need you to kill Archcurate Bertha. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. 
They swept into the Chantry without warning and began... The Chantry was a... They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe. He's alive. I've seen him. Hmm. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Ordiel. Leaving the Way Shrines un and an assault on the betrayed guarding the. Yes, let me show you. You gonna make it go up? like restoration magic to me. I'd be interested to see how it actually works. Look at us, Inigo. We're going up. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Cool. Relics of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, He'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the Way Shrine's center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long did they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer so into we have to the, around the a basin pitcher of the sanctum and would we allow him to enter for the basin. And that unlocks the chantry. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim all his wealth. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps very pale and traveling eyes. from way shrine to way shrine, just as so they did. Vampire. We know well, that much. First, lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. And I will say that between Morrowind and Skyrim, they did do a lot of good work on some of the facial features of NPCs. There are five in total, spread uh, far apart across the Chantry. Like the Oblivion, there wasn't caves? that big of a oh, fan no. of, because they were all like The Chantry encompasses faces. far more than a few caves. This is actually kind discovered. of passable. But before like, I send Morrowind you was passable way, in its own right, but it was passable in like... Once you've... They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine. This... Otherwise... Passable in like the early 2000s way. My hopes for a safe journey. Alright, we survived the pass. Wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Kind of soothing, actually. It's actually pretty easy. Man, I forget sometimes how much of a monster we are. Like I said, I've been playing Elden Ring, and uh, oh, some of my uh, playing some of Halo Infinite, basically from scratch, right? Go from like a skill level scratch point. Whereas my Skyrim character is in addition because I kind of already have the set up right. And it's just kind of fun to be back in a. Uh, back in a character in gaming with a, uh, like an actual degree of power behind him. Because my current Elden Ring character is uh, weak. Barely able to take on most tasks. And that's a combination of being out of practice at Elden Ring and not knowing the controls to make him do what I want him to do, right? Cool. Oh, 
I should have uh, engaged my caring though. Anika, you are my sworn you brother and companion. Can. I uh, trust you more than anyone. Something on your mind? Uh, I need you to carry some stuff. Try not to burn anything useful with those magical hands of yours. Sword, you can have some mace, you can have this bow. Not gonna give you my legs because I kinda need those. I still have these shards that I gotta get rid of too. Got some tree bark I can give you, Aniko. You like tree bark? Uh, dynamo core, yep, that's yours. Armor compass. It's very valuable, but it's not very, very useful, huh? Give you a mountain of gold. Uh, we can actually uh, sort it out by weight, right? And then go up to the top to see what's the most heavy. So you can take anything that weighs too much. What do I have? So, Blade of Sacrifice. Apparently, I cannot give him too much more. He does enough for us, right? He is... He does carry our burdens. Do I get the place that this is? space to actually deal with it. So I might just travel back to the museum uh, when we get a chance and unload everything. So there aren't too many Falmer dig sites available to us, right? Because there aren't any real Falmer ruins in Skyrim. Um, so we should actually get as many ruins as we can while we're here. It's actually back towards the waterfall. Which was... Where's the waterfall? This way, I yeah, backtrack a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's here. spell for that? Be an alteration, right? Candlelight? This is clearly a doormate. get three. Making pretty good progress. I say, as I fall down into a hole, it is 
this is how I get this is how I get through that door. I like about him, you know? He always gets the message. Some companions, not singling anybody out, but just kind of stand there. Just stand there and let you walk into him over and over again. It's like, come on, come on, companion, you know. You know I would like to go forward. Just let me go forward. Like, nope. No forward for you. The yeah, former architecture in this area of the game is also just Where'd really, really cool. I'm very frightened. I swear, even though I always default to a uh, lightning mage, the fireball spell is just the most satisfying spell in the destruction school skill tree, right? Because it's just big explosions. And it's not the most damage, but it just feels powerful. Like, even though it's not. Like, a lightning spell with a higher caliber could do a better job, but... Like, there's even an argument that the AoE effect is better done by chain lightning anyways, right? If you have three enemies grouped up, chain lightning will always do basically the same thing. And it'll hit two enemies for a reasonable amount of damage. We're learning a lot about Falmer today. Serana? I'm also a little nervous about, uh... About throwing around my fireballs in any of these type of areas, because at the same time I know I don't know for sure that there isn't, like, a new piece of loot added. God, just everything here is kind of crazy. Where'd you go? series I read and in it there were these uh, creatures called the dark and they were like these this an insect like hive mind uh, that hang out hung out in caves below cities in this high fantasy setting and uh what not cats Anyway, the dark, um, like they were this really powerful, like, technically, um, I don't want to say technically, they're technically on par as far as, like, sapiency with mankind. Like, they had their own unique society, they were really, really powerful, and they also, like, ate a primitive version of humans. That they had like cattle in their cave systems. But that in 
Inigo? Did Inigo kill me? That wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Kind of deceiving, actually. Still a little warm right now. So you guys, I'm just going forward. Your problem, not mine. You guys killed me, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Wrong guy. Again. Not me. in this game is a little bit of just a tiny bit. If you're good at restoration, uh, there's not really anything that's going to stop you. Now we can come back for the archaeology later, I guess. If I ever feel the need to do archaeology. Oh, that's really cool. well, this is one of the less cool aspects is that the set pieces are kind of big, right? Like if you uh, die like I did foolishly and don't save, you end up having to backtrack a lot. Just to get anywhere. Who's there? That's a saber cat. Do, 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 do. Hey, stop that. I'm in no mood for your foolishness. of somebody with like the type of magical powers our character displays is kind of scary right because like look at what we're doing like we've been mauled by three saber cats since we got into this section of the cave and like every time we just heal ourselves back up to full with a magic spell and that's like creepy creepy right welcome initiate this is are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Sure. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it Ready for a lift, eye, honestly. As you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Do it. Lift me up. Make me tall. Build a piece of our ewer. Now we have somewhere else to go. The Forgotten Veil. So this, I think, actually counts as an exterior cell. Which is good for us. It means we can go do other things. But we probably won't. We'll probably just continue along our path. 
all the cards. And what is down there? Is that where we first came in? I feel like if I drop down there, I'm just gonna have to go through that section again. Get some fireballs out. We're gonna kill a troll. He's on a really peaceful over here. Not on my watch. There can be no peace. So this is a snow elf veil that got lost. There are a couple of places like this in the Elder Scrolls universe, which are just like lost valleys nestled into obscure hillsides. Didn't want to kill you, kitty cat. I don't like killing kitty cats. But if you're gonna attack me, I gotta defend myself, right? Them's the rules. Yeah, well, we are actually at 30 minutes, so I'm gonna save it up here. And we'll call it a day for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.